Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a great mobber with great survivability and mobility and bossing. You have one toggle, guided arrow. The general buffs for Pathfinder are as follows. Decent speed infusion, which isn't used until later on in the game. Decent combat orders, shadow raven summon, curse bound endurance, sharp eyes, and maple warrior. As a Pathfinder, you have three cardinal skill modes, burst, deluge, and torrent. You also have your enchant four skills, relic unbound, combo assault, obsidian barrier, and Ancient Astra. Which cardinal skill you cast right before casting an Enchant 4 skill will determine what the Enchant 4 skill effect will be. For movements, you have your double jump and up jump by double tapping the up arrow key. Cardinal Torrent is a teleport that can go up, left, or right. You also have triple impact, which can be used to stop your momentum at any point in time. Your main boost node trios include Cardinal Burst, Cardinal Deluge, and Glyph of Impalement. Your secondary ones are Combo Assault, Swarm Shot, and Cardinal Torrent. Bossing Pathfinder uses an HM Bow. Your spammable attack configuration is a macro key set of Cardinal Burst to Cardinal Deluge, so make sure to put those into a macro key in game. Glyph is casted off cooldown. Cardinal Torrent and Combo Assault Torrent combo is used to apply max stacks of your Curse debuff to give you additional crit damage. Nova Blast is your only iframe, but you also have two damage reduction skills Obsidian Barrier, which provides 40% damage reduction, and Ancient Astra, which provides 60%. These two skills can be stacked together for a total of 64% damage reduction. You have your two skills for resisting Super Knockback. Triple Impact and Cardinal Torrent. For your 5 Hypers, put all 3 on Cardinal Force plus HM Force Boss Rush and Enchant Enhance. Here is the general order for the skill cycling during your main 4 minute burst. Fairy of the Wild, Epic Adventure, Maple Goddess, Vicious Shot, Oz Ring, AB Link, Obsidian Barrier Burst, Fairy of the Wild Tempest, Relic Unbound Burst, Awakened Relic, and Nova Blast. Your macro fills up your relic gauge as you boss, but during burst, obsidian barrier, relic unbound, and fairy of the wild tempest all consume your relic gauge. Therefore, you need to use awakened relic after all those skills to recharge your gauge so that nova blast does its maximum damage. Your half two minute burst consists of fury of the wild, epic adventure, vicious shot, ab link, obsidian barrier burst, fury of the wild tempest, relic unbound burst, awakened relic, and nova blast. Training. Your bossing and training hypers are the same. Your main spammable attack configuration for mobbing is also the same macro keys of Cardinal Burst and Cardinal Deluge. If you don't mind using more skill keys, you can also do Combo Assault Burst and Glyph of Impalement. They cover pretty big areas. Swarm Shot and Triple Impact are sometimes used as well depending on the map. You can rotate Fairy of the Wild Tempest, Relic Unbound Torrent, Fairy of the Wild, or Obsidian Barrier Burst off of cooldown so you always have some sort of summon up. Now if you're trying to get to level 200 and beyond and don't know where to train, be sure to check out this next video that showcases some great training maps for leveling.